me and my partner, we're both in our 50s. We'd thought about adoption for quite some time um, because we weren't able to have children. And what really made a difference was a very close friend of mine adopted a little girl. And then uh, my husband and I, Papa, we sat down and we talked about it. And we realised that, well, actually, even though we're in our 50s, it is something that we could conceivably do. And so we just decided to go forward and, and, and to try. I had medical problems. I had fibroids, which is very common in the black community. So one of the remedies for that was a hysterectomy. And um, I still wanted to have a daughter. I was a single parent. Um, I had a son, Alexander, and um, he was actually born with a hearing loss issue. And what I had to do was to be very, very supportive with him in school, helping him with his education. And um, what I realised is that... Um, me being able to help him, I thought to myself, well, you know what, if I can help you, I can do this for another another child. I um, adopted Mave, who I fostered when she was 10. And then when she was 13, I was lucky enough to be able to adopt her so that she stayed within my family and our family unit. My faith was everything. I mean, from day one, I, I really had, I had this long conversation with God and it's like, yeah. You know where she is, you know her name, you know you know everything. So if we're going to do this, and I was almost like cutting a deal, <laughs> then I need you to just guide me to the right child. I think everybody knows that it's a really long uh, process, but it, it, it has to be long because it has to be quite detailed. I think social services have to make sure that they get it right, that they get a match right and they get um, you right and the kind of child that will work in your family appropriate and that can't happen quickly. I would say that the process is, is certainly needs to be long um, and I would also say that the process has been shortened within the last few years. It was actually up, taken up about 18 months, it's now six months from the start of stage one right through to um, going to panel to be approved as adopters. Um, the process does need to take a while because as with any child joining a family, it doesn't happen overnight. There is a period of preparation, there is a period of planning. Um, and because it's a life-changing decision, it does need to take, take some time. I felt that I had failed. My body had failed. Mm. My body would not cooperate until I realised... And I, I, I have this phrase, and I have to say, it's not mine. I didn't make it up. I got it from the actress Viola Davis. And Viola Davis says, because she adopted, and she says that she speaks to her daughter, and she says, I didn't push you out of my stomach, but I pushed you out of my heart. So in that way, and in that respect, I have not failed. Mave is a real phenomenon. She is a young woman who I am immensely proud of, um, considering all the adversities that she had to overcome early on in life. She's a very determined um, young woman who really knows what she wants um, in her future. The advantage for us of adopting a child when we're older, when we're in our 50s, is that we're much more settled than we were in our 20s and 30s and much more able, I think, to cope with and manage any challenges that come along. Just us pouring into Amara on a daily basis and just speaking to her and talking about her future and telling her how she, brilliant she is and this and that, we have completely changed the trajectory of her life. You know, she was destined to go that way because she was stuck in the care system. And then, but just an interaction with us has sent her on a completely different tra trajectory and a, a completely different path. So who knows what she could end up being now just because of that intervention. So you just don't know. It, it, it creates a whole family for you, but it will totally change the life of the child.